Well, hey again, uh, this is Tribologist back. About a 24 hour has gone by since I uh, injected uh, the resin, or not resin, I keep saying resin, it's uh, RTV in these um, molds here. And the first thing I want to show is, you know, the syringe I used. You know, this has been used many times. Oh, yeah, lucky me. Just comes right out. And you can see here, this is cured, but it, it's. Um, you know, silicone is nice. It doesn't stick to anything except itself and barely even that. Um, I'm a bit nervous now because I saw a lot of uh, air pocket there. But, you know, you can see this, you know, this this is nice and easy to to uh, finagle off and, and uh, clean it up. And you can use it again. So, I mean, they're only a couple of bucks anyway, but they clean up fine. But anyway, let's see what we have in these guys. So, um, let me just take them apart. Sorry there for using a flat head but it took too long time you know the Philips when you're just having a little bit of light fits there's no point uh, having a you know full size screwdriver just take longer time take that apart take this apart and the key now when you take these guys apart you gotta be slow you know because if you rip it you tend to tear the the uh, stuff so now I'm gonna just carefully unmold that and that's the bottom face and you know what that doesn't look bad and then I'm gonna see if I can um, pry a little bit here and see if I can get the other side off you know sometimes it binds a little bit oh there you go it's coming nice and clear and as I said you know I'm gonna go a little bit slow here you know there's the uh, the part where we injected the silicone and you remember I said that you had to Inject in the hole that's far away from the uh, screw hole. And you see, you have like a little distribution chamber here. Now this is actually the front up of the of the sock. You know, so so far so good. Next step now going to be to take this little side piece here off. And uh, yeah, look at that. You see it creeped under a little bit here. And I don't want to start cleaning up this mold now. Actually, I want to wait until. Uh, it's fully cured, you know, we leave it a couple of days. Seems to be good. Here's a little tricky part, you know, the our friend Stefan here at CNC Kitchen put some uh, some patterns on the face there. So you had to be a little bit careful when you take it apart so it didn't get stuck on it. You know, the it's pretty logo there, you know, shows up pretty good. You know, and, and uh, anyway, now you asked, uh, you know, carefully loosen this up, you know, and, and uh, work yourself around the sock, and it's there, you know, you see, no mess, you know, I mean, yeah, a little bit stuck there, but that's it, you know, it's a nice clean sock, you know, I can uh, clean this up later on, but you're better off maybe waiting, but I can take a little chance here, but you know, it doesn't matter, you know, it, it's, uh, it cleans up and the beautiful thing here is you know a tube of that silicone you use you know the regular rtv is just a couple of bucks in the carport store there's no mixing and there's certainly no messing with it you know some of these uh youtube videos you can go out and find on on uh, how people do these socks are just terrifying i mean they make an absolute mess and knee kneading and trying to stuff the the silicone into the to the mold and, and um, then closing it up. I mean, there's no way to do that without making a, you know, radical disaster in your kitchen, you know, and you saw, you know, when I injected it here, it's just a matter of putting a little bit of silicone in the syringe, pour some water in it, fold in the water, and uh, there you go. A nice, pretty sock. Thank you so much, Stefan, for for doing that. And, and I recommend everyone to go and look at uh, CNC Kitchen's um, original video. I'm gonna try to put a link in and take a look on how this mold was designed. I think it's, you know, it's a perfect mold for the E3D, uh, yeah, E3D V6. And uh, the way I've used this now, since there's another video you can find, you know, on the tool I make for holding it. I, you know, here's where the screw goes for the um, heater element goes in this hole. I normally put a regular cap screw here, you know, and not the, a button head, you know, a regular uh, cylindrical head Allen screw in this hole. And um, then I have a tool that goes in here, grab the nozzle, 
and counter hold here. So I don't, you know, in Stefan's movie, he cuts these, you know, so he can get it on. But I normally put this on the block first. Then I insert the thermocouple and the, the heater. And to tighten up the thermocouple, you know, you can, they're so thin, right? So you can basically just puncture through here, you know, with your Allen screw, you know, Allen wrench. You can kind of feel where the hole is and you just puncture through the silicone, stick the Allen wrench through there and tighten up the, the Allen that holds the thermocouple. Sorry, thermocouple, the, the RTD. Well, yeah, in my case, RTD, but they're missed in most cases. And then the same thing here, you stick the, the heater in and then you tighten up this screw, you know. So by doing that, you fully cover the block with, um, with silicone, so you don't have any chance to get any silicone unless you do something stupid with, with your assembly. And also you get better insulation. And best of all, it never comes off. You know, you never have the problem with a sock slipping off and, and causing a problem for you. Anyway, thank you so much. And again, thank you, Stefan, for coming up with this. And, and um, look at my other videos and, and go and, and look on uh, CNC Kitchen's original video on this. It, it's really neat. Thank you, guys.